So, it's time to take over the server, it's time to get the reverse shell and how to do that and how you're going to take over this server totally and get full control of it. So, basically what I'm going to show here now is a way for you to take full control of the server if you already found that really lovely exploit you all want to do. So in this particular case, we have a upload form here on the webpage and basically what you're going to do now is go from the upload form to have full control of the server. So let's dive in and see how we can do that. So first of all, we need to upload a file to this particular upload form here. And the file we're gonna upload is something called a reverse shell. Now a reverse shell is basically just some code that makes the attacker being connected to by the victim's machine. So the victim machine is being asked to connect directly to us and then we have something called a shell. The reverse in it is, in it is because the attacker machine is being connected to from the victim machine, all right? So let's go ahead and look at this code here. I have a reverse shell in PHP. It's just a default one found on Pentest Monkey. Um, so we're gonna take raw, take this URL here, go to a some URL, just do wget, download the shell. I'm gonna move the shell to PHP reverse shell. I'm just gonna call it shell dot PHP5 in this particular case. I'm gonna nano into shell.php5. I need to alter a few things. First of all, I need to alter my own IP address, which is this one we have right here. And since I already have this file, it was all written for the old one, but the things were saved in the file. And the IP address is gonna change is the one you have locally on your machine. Now, depending on which kind of local IP address you're gonna use, is really dependent on if you're connected to a VPN or something like that. It's gonna give you another IP address that you need to connect through in order to get the connection back. The port is something you just choose, so I choose 4444. I'm gonna save this file here. What I'm gonna basically do now is just open up initcat listener, just like that, on port 4444. Then I'm gonna to go to the browser. I'm gonna close the window here. Upload the file, pick my Kaylee, and say shell.php, I need to spell correctly, shell.php 5, which is the one right there. I'm gonna upload it. Now, of course, this isn't it's in another language, but we can see that it says something like success. So that is, of course, we uploaded the file successfully. The next thing we need to do now is to verify how to call that file. Because just uploading the actual PHP file to the server doesn't really do anything for us. Now we're gonna go back here to my terminal and see that we didn't get anything back in our shell. So we basically need to navigate to the folder where they save the files. In this particular case, it's called uploads. That is something you know you need to verify in some way. You can use tools like GoBuster or Derp or DearBuster or just another different kind of fussing tool to find different kind of folders on the web page. You can also go ahead and just try different kind of things. One thing that I would really like to mention is that you need to do robots.txt, just like that. And if you didn't find anything there in robots.txt, of course you need to find uh, your information in other ways by running, you know, GoBus and stuff like that. But it's always worthful to try robots.txt at the very first one. All right, so you see we have the file here, shield.php. Now, when I click this, I'm gonna get full control of the server, so I'm gonna click it. As you can see, my browser tab is now hanging. It's saying, oh, something's going on. Basically what's going on is that on my other tab here, you can see we got something back, like boom. We got a reverse shell back. We are now the user dot 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 data. So we're gonna write ID and who am I? In essence, I'm in full control now of the server. I do need to do some privilege escalation in order to get a higher privilege user. At the moment, I am the dot, dot, dot data user, but I can see a lot of things, I can find a lot of things, and there's a really good chance that I can uh, evaluate my privileges to even a higher privileged user from this point on. So really, getting a control of the server is not that, not that hard if you have the way of uploading something or get the server to, to execute something that could create something called a reverse shell for us. Every time we get the server to execute something for us, and connect back to us. That is a reverse shell. So I'm gonna re-explain it. Reverse shell. The shell part is the is the actual interface we're typing in, and the reverse part of it is that the, the victim machine is connecting directly to us as attackers. That is reversing it all. So if you can do that, you can get reverse shell back, you can get a direct connection, and you have full control of the server. In most occasions, you can elevate your privileges, 
In most occasions, you can find higher privileged user credentials or something on the server uh, because servers are full of, full of of errors and human errors and stuff like that. So really just look and check it out. Now, if you want to learn about privilege escalation, I want to ask you to check out my other videos on YouTube here. I have just created uh, two videos called the five quickies for Linux privilege escalation. I have a part one and part two, and I also have a pen test bootcamp course going that is also gonna teach you about privilege escalation. Hope you have a really nice day. You like the video, subscribe to my channel if you wish to. Click the bell to get future notifications. Leave a comment below. See you out there. Bye.